Hi. Now, I'm going to do now the last three questions then in this revision exercise on factorizing these expressions. So with number eight now, okay, in the usual way, check to see whether you've got any common factors, but we haven't. But what we've got here is a special case of the difference of two squares. We've got that this is the square of p squared and this is the square of q squared. So in other words, this reduces down to two brackets. In each bracket, at the beginning, you put a p squared. And in the rear of the brackets, you put q squared. And then you have opposite signs, say a plus and say a minus. When you multiply this out, you will get p to the power 4 minus q to the power 4. But is it fully factorized? Well, the answer is no, because this particular factor is again the difference of two squares. We've got a different sign, and this is the square of p, and this is the square of q. This particular factor doesn't factorize any further. Don't make any mistakes on thinking that that factorizes further. So. We just leave this one in as it is, p squared plus q squared. But as I said that earlier, that this is the difference of two squares, so this will be two brackets. We put p here, p here, and a q at the end, and a q at the end here. And we have different signs, so we could have a plus a and a minus. Now each of these factors doesn't factorize any further. So this is now fully factorized. Now in number 9, what we've got now is a quadratic, a quadratic expression, a trinomial, because it's got three terms. There is no common factor, so this would come from just two brackets. Now with this one, you'll notice that we've got the x squared term at the rear. So what we do is we choose two numbers that multiply together to give 2 and 2 being a prime number, we don't really have much choice in that. It can either be a 2 and a 1 or a 1 and a 2. Just change those round if it doesn't work. As for minus 9x squared, then it could possibly be a minus 9x and a plus x. Or if this doesn't work, we could switch the 9 and the x around. And as for signs, well, if we don't hit the target value, okay, we can just switch the signs. But is it this combination? Let's try, okay, and have a look. What we've got is the 2 times the x is going to give us 2x, and minus 9 times the x is going to give minus 9x. 2x minus 9x is going to be minus 7x. If I was to change the signs, that would just give me plus 7x, which is nothing like what we've got in the middle. So you might be tempted to change these two numbers around. So let's just change those around. Put a 1 where the 2 was and a 2 there. Does that work? Well, here we've now got 1x minus 18x. So that's going to be minus 17x. So again, we haven't got this target value. So we might think of having other values that multiply together to give minus 9x squared. And so you might go for a 3x and a minus 3x. So there you go, minus 3x and 3x. We know we've got our minus 9x squared, but does this work? Well, here we've got 3x, and here we've got minus 6x, which gives minus 3x. We've got the 3x, but not the plus sign. So that means that all we need to do is alter the signs. Make this a plus and change this to a minus and that will now work. You get minus 3x plus 6x, which is the plus 3x. Okay, now you could obviously write this as 2 minus 3x times 1 plus 3x. It wouldn't make any difference, okay? But essentially, that is it, because none of these two factors factorizes any further. So that's fully factorized. Now finally, in number 10, no common factors here. But again, we've got a trinomial, and we can think of this as being a quadratic in x cubed. Let me show you. What we've got here for x to the power 6 is x cubed, all squared. 
and then we've got minus 8x cubed plus the 15. This is almost as if we're saying let y equal the x cubed because if we do say that then what we've got is essentially y squared minus 8y plus 15. y squared minus 8y plus 15. And if you factorize this in the normal way, you'd have a couple of brackets. Haven't got much room here, so just squeeze it in there. But you'd have a y and a y, and then you want two numbers that multiply together to give you plus 15 and give that minus 8y. Well, it's got to be two negative numbers, and if you experiment, it'll be minus 5 and minus 3. All right? You'll find that you get minus 5y and minus 3y, which gives you the minus 8y. Now remember that y was x cubed, so really what this is, is basically two brackets then. And where you had a y, you're just going to write x cubed. So it's x cubed minus 5. And here, x cubed minus 3. x cubed minus 3. Each bracket doesn't factorize any further, so again, this is fully factorized. OK, well that brings us now to the end of this revision exercise and I hope that some of these examples gave you the ideas of how we factorise various expressions. All right.